Whether it's your alternator charging the battery or your AC blowing cold air, the accessory drive system is what keeps it all moving. And yet, despite doing all that work, often the entire system relies on a single belt. If that one belt has issues, multiple systems are in jeopardy. As simple as the system is, knowing this architecture is imperative for continued trouble-free operation. So stick around, because that's the subject of this Motor Age Tech Tip. At its core, the accessory drive system is about converting that rotational energy from the crankshaft into useful power for the rest of the vehicle. As the crankshaft rotates, it turns belt systems, which in turn drive vital components like the alternator, water pump, air conditioning compressor, and power steering pump. And while vehicle electrification on many previously belt-driven accessories have at times reduced the number of belt-driven components on modern vehicles, it's still an important and all too often overlooked vehicle system. A system that is engineered for efficiency, proper belt tension ensures the accessories operate at the right speed, reducing parasitic drag and improving fuel economy. And as vehicle technology evolves, so does the drive system, with components like overrunning alternator pulleys and decouplers helping smooth out vibrations and reducing wear. Let's break down the major components of a modern accessory drive system, starting with the most obvious, the belt itself. Serpentine belt systems are nothing new. They have been in favor with auto manufacturers for close to four decades now. They offer more efficiency, a longer lifespan, and generally less maintenance, and are more compact accessory drive design than a traditional V-belt. Next, the belt tensioner, generally an automatic spring-loaded tensioner to keep consistent load on the belt, adjusting for stretch, load, and wear. While some modern accessory drive belts may still run a manual tensioner, or in the instance of stretch belts, no tensioner at all, an automatic tensioner is still the prevailing design for belt systems. When it comes to pulleys, idler pulleys don't drive anything. Rather, they guide and support the belt's routing path. They're simple but a warm bearing here can take out the entire system. And at the heart of that system is the crankshaft pulley. It's engine driven and then drives everything else. Many include a vibration dampener to protect against torsional engine vibrations. Driven off the crankshaft is the rest of the belt driven accessories. And while electrification of many of these systems is starting to gain steam, currently the belt driven accessory is still king. But that doesn't mean that some of the pulley technologies with these systems aren't evolving. Some late model vehicles use an overrunning alternator pulley, or OAP, and overrunning alternator decouplers, or OADs, to reduce vibration and decouple alternator drag during engine deceleration. These reduce stress on the belt and tensioner. Each component has a specific role, but they all work as one system. So if one fails, whether it's a pulley bearing, the tensioner, or the belt itself, the whole drive system is compromised. Now, when it comes to correct belt routing, it's more than just wrapping the belt around the pulleys. Each path is engineered to create the right wrap angles and rotation for every accessory. Routing determines the correct angle or belt wrap for each pulley. So too little wrap and you'll get slippage under load. Incorrect routing can also spin components in reverse or reduce tension on key accessories. So it's critical to refer to vehicle's routing diagram either under the hood or in service manuals, especially when it comes to belts that have fallen off or dealing with a vehicle with multiple belts or stretch belt systems. And when it comes to stretch belts, it's imperative to remember that these cannot be reused. They are a one-time use only component. Modern tensioners apply consistent spring pressure to the belt. That pressure is carefully calibrated to match accessory loads and belt length. So too little tension, again, the belt can slip, chirp, or fail to drive accessories at low speeds. Too much tension, and you're gonna wear out things like alternators, water pumps, and crankshaft seals. A healthy tensioner should move smoothly and return to position without binding. Many tensioners have wear indicators or reference marks, so use those to measure fatigue. If you're doing a belt job, check tensioner movement, pulley alignment, and spring preload before reinstallation. Misalignment of a few millimeters between pulleys can cause tracking issues, edge wear, and squealing. Always inspect accessory brackets, bushings, and the crank pulley for signs of lateral movement or wobble. Proper routing and correct tension ensure that every accessory performs under load and that your customer doesn't come back with a squealing belt, an overheated engine, or a dead battery a week later. When it comes to wear, dry belt systems rarely fail silently. 
Whether it's a chirp, a squeal, or a sudden loss of charging or cooling, the warning signs are there if you know what to look for. Most modern belts don't crack across the ribs, especially EPDM belts. Modern EPDM compound belts are engineered with more elasticity, therefore they are less prone to cracking and last significantly longer than traditional neoprene. Instead, look for rib wear, glazing, or material loss. If the ribs have rounded off and the belt feels hard and shiny, it's time for replacement. When it comes to replacement belts, sourcing belts that exceed OEM quality standards will keep your customers on the road longer. Built with proprietary EPDM compounds and reinforced with aramid fibers, B-Pro Auto Belts are precision built to reduce slip, risk, and maximize performance. Today's accessory drive systems are more efficient and durable than ever, but they're also more complex. That's why understanding how they're built, how they fail, and how to service them properly is key to avoiding comebacks and keeping your customers on the road. Whether you're replacing a warm belt, diagnosing a noise complaint, or doing preventative maintenance, the whole system needs to be kept in consideration and inspected for damage or wear. I would like to thank the folks at B-Pro Auto for making this tech tip possible, and as always, thanks for watching.